Welcome back to another episode brought to you by Game Glitches. Uh, today we're going to talk about crafting. I will try to make crafting for people as easier and simplest to understand. Uh, this is going to be quick tips and how it works and tip tricks about it. So I hope this guys helps you and please enjoy from this point on. Now we will quickly go over how to sharpen and how to improve your uh, regular weapons and your shield. Uh, first of all you need to have high enough crafting depending on the level of the stuff like this one requires one crafting this one would require three uh, based on the level difference so in for example in your end of time you will have a whetstone and an anvil you drag the dagger as you could see the dagger damage is five to ten you improve it and six to eleven basically about ten percent damage increase this matters a lot more later when you do 200 damage in the item and you do 220 instead and then for example as you could see the shield has 32 block I apply smith anvil to it and voila now it has a 45% block the higher level the more significant this buff makes to quickly repair an item all you have to do is have high enough crafting skill and you don't need to be next to anything. All you require is repair hammer and you re could repair any piece of gear that you want. Just click, right click and go blacksmith and voila, object is now repaired. You can do this anywhere, anytime, with any item that you feel that is breaking down. Unique or not unique, it, unique, it doesn't matter, purple, blue, any item that you want. This is the first forge, whetstone, and anvil that you will find in the game. It's okay, located in Sicilian city. And it's located right behind the abandoned house. Right over here that you can use. Which you all you have to do is walk around. After you learn a skill or trade skill by right clicking on a book and going learn. Then you can click L and go to recipes area. And this is where all of your recipes are. The recipe will give you a nice little story and from it you will can figure out what you need to craft. There are plenty of guides available online that will give you a combination to craft items. Please note that even if you haven't discovered this combination or opened this book, but you have researched a combination online, you don't need this book or any of these books to craft anything, as long as you know the proper combination of the items. These books are just hints for regular players. If you're trying to craft something or fix something or do anything to it the best way you will know if you have not enough skill is when it's when you try to mouse over it with repair or with trying to put it on a forge the whetstone or anywhere else that it where it will display the level of your blacksmithing in this case not enough blacksmithing on this character This is the first companion that you will find that automatically starts with one crafting and one blacksmithing. As you can see from scientists that he has in a talent ability right here. He automatically has that so there is no need for you to waste points with another character to obtain these two skills. Uh, there is a video that I have out that says obtaining powerful companion in my earlier videos for divinity. If you need to can find him there is a video of showing how to find him and what needs to be said to him to obtain this companion. Please check it out if you have any further questions or hit me up on, on YouTube. To split up items, all you have to do is, while holding shift, drag an item to an empty area. The item will automatically go 50-50, splitting it even. You can select, select either more or less items, and then all you have to do is click check. And now you have two sets of items. So far in the game, as of now, uh, there are only two types of crafting items. Bracelets, which have, could have blacksmith in crafting, 
and so can the belt but I currently don't have one on this character therefore the blacksmithing pickpocketing blurry sets are the only ones and so is the belt at the moment I don't know if this is subjected to change but hopefully it will be this way what allows you to raise crafting quicker than other or and quicker than you can before As you can see, it's from base 2, from gear 1, from scient uh, scientist 1. Therefore, that's 4, and this is 5. There are many variety of ways of improving weapons in this game. For example, if you have a poison flask, and then you have a weapon, any kind of weapon, you could, if you have, your crafting skill is high enough, you could drag the potion over the weapon and receive this icon. As you can see at the moment the weapon is 611, again I'm using the scrap stick to demonstrate the point. Then you would drag it over and click OK. As you see this now does 0 to 2 damage. Actually at high end levels this is what could be a quite significant increase. Especially with the multiplication imply um, applying it on a backstab weapons which already do massive amounts of damage this would just even more further devastate the target please note that when handling tenebrium if your character is not equipped to it he will get something called the infected rot it will tick, tick for one damage every four to seconds to remove this you either need to obtain another bloodstone or find a marksman spell called the do uh, doctor it will allow you to cure this unfortunately the water ability you cannot cure this with it as you can see i will demonstrate which cure blindness mute disease infectious disease bleeding and crippling Unfortunately, it can't be healed. Also, please note that all ore is much heavier than bars. Once you convert ore into bars, it becomes tw 10 times lighter and you can carry a lot more bars than you can carry the ore of. Hello, if you need a uh, Tenebria, you could always go over here. Uh, this Tenebrium uh, Smith shop and as you can see here you, there's a ton of Tenebrium so just jack and smelt it down another thing Things like essences cannot improve weapons, they can improve armors and shields. For example, as you can see this armor stats, if I would put essence of the void on it, it will obtain plus one sneaking, for example. Voila, now this armor has one sneaking. Also, if I would take a, a resistance one, a fire, or something else like that, it will actually apply the resistance instead. For example, if I would grab this fire essence and the shield, as you can see the fire resistance is 15. As you can see, now the fire resistance is sturdy. And I can continue doing this to all the arms. Now this one has 20 fire resistance. And now this has 20 fire resistance. To craft from ten uh, Tenebrium or or from any other ore, all you have to do is find yourself a forge, furnace I mean, and then drag the ore over. And then it will ask you if you want to convert it all. If you, you could regulate how much of it you want to convert and voila, you obtain some, including Tenebrium. And now 
you have some Tenebrium. All melee weapons can be infused with Tenebrium. For example, as you could see here, that's the stats. Then it would ask you if you would like to infuse it. You select yes. And voila, now it does Tenebrium 23 to 46 additional damage. Tenebrium unfortunately cannot improve armor. To craft potions you need two of the following. You need an empty bottle and any form of component that you would like. Depending on the component, that's what you would craft. water resistance for example to improve your healing potions you can take two healing potions split the stack through using shift as I mentioned earlier and then combining those stacks together without holding shift you will get either craft or stack option if you want to stack they will stack them if you want to craft it will create a larger healing potion voila I turned 6 lesser healing into 3 large shield. Again, you separate them, you drag them back together, and you create half as many bigger ones. And voila, you have amazing potions now. To craft your own lockpicks, for example, because they are very expensive, you can find 9-inch nails all over the game, including hammers all over also. So, you take 9-inch nails and then you drag a hammer over them. You will get a question, would you like to make lockpicks? You click yes, and voila, you created 4 lockpicks from a single pair of 9-inch nails. I think that is t t definitely a profit. Another little interesting funny thing I found, if you take the hammer, apply it to the cooking pot, and now you have yourself a helmet. Totally badass. Also nice addition to your bucket helmet. Now you're twice the pimp. Please note that the item level that you will create will be based on your level. For example, Lemons, there we go. And As you can see, strength level 20, armor level 14. I'm currently on this character, level 14. The stats on the item seems to be identical because you can enchant them from here on out. To craft armor you would need to find metal scraps instead of the plate scraps and apply hammer to it. As you can see your character will always craft identical armors. Please note, things like mortar, pestle, hammer, ink pot, cooking pot, you can use in your inventory. For example, if I would take wheat and would drag it on the mortar and pestle, I will create flour. Welcome back. Uh, now I will quickly go over uh, what is needed to make a spell book. Uh, first you need to find 
blank paper uh, first you need to create blank paper which is made from wood mush and, f and with the use of furnace then you combine blank paper well not this paper with pixie dust that will generate your random elemental scroll then you take that blank elemental scroll and combine it with a magical ink pot and quill that will generate you are at the random particular element scroll like if you have for example blank earth scroll what if and if you apply magic ink pot and quill you will generate a random earth scroll like different stats and abilities when you combine two blank earth scrolls you will create an empty earth skill book or if you combine two fire you will create fire book for example let me split these in one one then I drag oh oh <laughs> it seems my crafting isn't high enough to demonstrate it it's four but once you combine them you're good to go after that once you created a, sp a fire spell uh, that you like or earth or water or air uh, then you will take a blank as uh, elemental scroll whichever element you have and combine two of them together to make an an empty elemental skill box so if i were able to combine these two together i would create an empty elemental well in this one blank skill book fire then what you do is you want you find the scroll that you want to memorize for example i want to get earthquake just for an example all i would do take earthquake and drag it well I guess my skill is not high enough for that I guess you would need a five I in this case will create mass disease with with re empty skill book and voila mass disease created to create arrows you would need to take arrow shaft and drag it on the arrow. After that, you would take these arrows and would drag them on a particular elemental potion. For example, ooze barrel plus arrowhead equals poison arrowhead. And then you would attach them to things that you would like.